New questions about that proposed new city in Solano County. ABC 10 has obtained documents that show the group behind it also bought land in Sacramento County. That's right. Flannery and Associates has already tens of thousands of acres across the Delta. The project has now caught the attention of the governor, who says he plans to meet with the group. ABC 10's Devin Truby explains. Over the last few months, Flannery and Associates has been asking residents to weigh in on forming a new city in Solano County, one with, quote, tens of thousands of new homes, a large solar farm, orchards with over a million trees, and over 10,000 acres of new parks and open space. They call their project California Forever. Over the last five years, the group of Silicon Valley billionaires has purchased more than 52,000 acres around Travis Air Force Base, the busiest Air Force Base in the country. The group is made up of LinkedIn co-founder Reed Hoffman on entrepreneur Mark Anderson, and Lawrence Powell Jobs, widow of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. ABC 10 has obtained documents through the Sacramento County Assessor's Office that shows the company has also purchased land in Sacramento County. Stated that it, it may be one city, it may be two, it may be three. I think it's safe to say that they don't have a plan. You know, they have an idea, they have a dream, maybe a vision, but they don't have a plan. Congressman Mike Thompson is just one of many legislators to meet with Flannery and Associates and hear the promises of the new city. The project now has the attention of Governor Gavin Newsom, who said Tuesday night at a political forum he will meet with the group. Newsom said, quote, I'll be candid with you. They started a little behind in my book because of the fact that they let so much intrigue and so many questions. So there's a lot more doubt and a lot less trust. But to do this, the land would have to be rezoned and Flannery and Associates would have to get it on the ballot. According to the registrar, they have not filed any paperwork. To go on the March ballot, they have to collect 13,000 signatures in 180 days and certify everything before December 8th.